show you the internal workings of a NRI barometer. Um, not much to them really. It's the diaphragm, pressure diaphragm. The mainspring that prevents the uh, diaphragm collapsing under the influence of the air pressure. This diaphragm is actually evacuated of all air. Um, so basically any, any change in air pressure will result in this diaphragm moving up and down. That up and down movement is transferred along this lever here to an up and down movement to this linkage bar here, which drives this linkage here, which rotates the shaft here and turns the pointer on the front of the dial. So any pressure changing will result in the deflection of these movements. This is a sort of 1950s good quality movement. Um, you have various adjustments for uh, calibration and things when the when the unit is made. That screw there, you loosen that screw that adjusts the position of that bar through that axle point. Moving that inwards will increase the gain on the uh, on the um, spindle at the end. The screw that you adjust on the back for setting the uh, correct pressure is that screw there around the back. Basically, that tilts the whole of the arbor system back and lifts lifts that as well. This is pivot point there. You see the pivot point just down there. That's the screw on the back. So all of that mechanism tilts upwards, twisting it up lifting that pin up and adjusting the point of the correct sea level pressure. The more modern higher quality movements of the sort of, sort of the 70s or 80s started to use a bimetal strip. It used to run along the top of that bar there uh, for compensation of temperature. So the, 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 the uh, reading was always correct regardless of what the temperature of the barometer was. Um, this is probably a, a, a sort of a, a fairly good, but but not the best high quality movement. It's sort of like a domestic, domestic movement, domestic barometer movement.